I'm Bob Hather, past president of the San Luis Obispo Rotary Club, 2008-2009. Behind me was my project. What lies behind me is a project that was one and a half years in the making by the San Luis Obispo Rotary Club. This project started uh, as uh, the, the main project for the year 2008-2009 in order to drill wells in uh, developing countries at a much lower cost. What is behind me is the result of a project that was coordinated with Cal Poly. Uh, the engineering department and students designed and built this cable tool rig that we hoped would be able to be manufactured out of off-the-shelf parts and to be inexpensively uh, reproduced so that uh, wells could be cheaply drilled in developing countries. Okay, we've mounted this cable tool rig on a trailer so that it has mobility, can go into almost any spot, and be leveled with a series of jacks, which basically lifts the entire unit off the ground. The components that are used in our system are all off-the-shelf uh, components, so that this can be manufactured in any developing country without having uh, to uh, source out uh, difficult uh, to manufacture parts. The uh, uh, system is run with a 13 horsepower Honda motor which uh, we were able to, to uh, use a much smaller motor because we have a series of counterweights on the walking arm and the walking beam and we have um, a flywheel in the back that uh, provides for uh, a continuous uh, momentum. These cable tools operate a bit, in this case uh, our bit is, is uh, 850 pounds and it uh, is meant to go up and down every uh, second and pound its way through the earth. This is a technology that was used in the early 1900s and is still used today because it's the only type of rig that can drill through certain types of alluvials. We've, made, we've set up our system to operate off of hydraulics so that we have complete control over all of the components which include the uh, raising and lowering of the drill bit out of the hole and the hammering of the drill bit onto the rock and then ultimately swinging the baler in to bail the, uh, the tailings out of the hole. One of the concepts behind the cable tool is that the bit self adjusts its height as you're drilling through the rock. That's done through a um, automotive uh, brake that we got at a wrecking yard, readily accessible, very inexpensive and yet the system works perfectly at allowing that bit to ease itself at just the proper tension down through the hole as the cutting takes place. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, fire this rig up and you can watch how I adjust the rate at which the cable tool goes up and down through its cycles through this hydraulic valve. These cable rigs are designed to penetrate the earth at a rate of about one to three feet per hour. All right, so we've switched over to a four inch bit. This uh, drill stem with the swivel on top is 20 feet long and weighs about 585 pounds. This four inch bit will make it easier to drill a four inch hole, which is really what we're trying to accomplish with this rig. After the hole gets uh, drilled about two or three feet, the system to taking the tailings out involves dropping this uh, baler down the hole and in the bottom of the hole is slush and mud that the uh, tool is pulverized and it, the tailings go up into the tube, a ball valve at the bottom of the tube holds those tailings, you swing the uh, tube out and press the ball valve and all the tailings come out.
So that's the process. Cable tools are required in which you have uh, ground that caves in on itself. It's the only kind of tool where you can drill a well and set casing down simultaneously. So when we start actually drilling a well with this unit, we will have a set of steel casing that will follow this tool bit down. This unit was also designed so that actually one operator can run the whole machine. As it's set up now, it took me 10 minutes to set up by myself. The boom folds over the top with the hydraulic motors uh, articulating it and uh, the jacks are easy, a one-man job. So the whole unit to uh, put up, as you see it, ready to drill a well, 10 minutes, one person. Very easily done. I want to thank the Rotary Club of San Luis Obispo, the De Tolosa and Daybreak Clubs for participating in the grant funding uh, for the district grant of $6,800.